Hey, what's up everyone? So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Ahsoka Tano from the Ahsoka television show. So the fact that I have an Ahsoka section of the display, I kind of needed Ahsoka, but I didn't really want to spend money on this figure because I already have it, right? The Mando version. It is the same figure, but my daughter actually got me this for Christmas. So thank you, Rachel, for saving me some money. But there are some slight differences in paint. So instead of a review, I thought I would just do a comparison. And of course, this one comes in the Galaxy packaging. Star Wars The Black Series up top through the window. You can see Ahsoka comes with her two lightsabers. Here we have Star Wars Ahsoka, Ahsoka Tano. That window wraps around, and there's the side with the artwork. It's a pretty good looking picture. I like it, and I do love the color for the Ahsoka line. Small window on the top and on the bottom, barcode and all this crap. And there's the back. Same picture that's on the side. You have a rundown of the show in five different languages. Ahsoka's number one in the Ahsoka line. That makes sense. And then you have all this crap down there. All right, I'm going to get Ahsoka from Ahsoka open, and let's compare it to the Mando version. Okay, so here are the two Ahsokas. I've got the Mando version on the left and the Ahsoka version on the right. Now, I do have the one that came in the three-pack with Mando and Grogu. I didn't want to bring that one into the mix. You know, trying to compare three would get a little silly. So I'm just going to do these two. Um, now, as far as paint, all right, it could just be my copies, the differences, because as you all know, Paint is very inconsistent with Hasbro. You know, you literally never know what you're going to get. So it could just be my copies, but I do want to show you the differences on mine. So we'll start with the face. And I think I like the Ahsoka version better. I think the eyes are a little better. Uh, not that these are bad. I think these just look a little more lifelike, a little brighter. You know, this one, she looks a little sleepy. Uh, yeah, but it's not bad, but there is a difference. Now, the face tattoos, much more pronounced on the new one, the Ahsoka version, the Mando version. They're a little light, and on the three-pack version, the face tattoos are even lighter. Okay, so these are much more pronounced. I do like them. You know, again, the eyes look great. Leku, about the same shade of blue. All right, those are pretty much identical. The little thing on her head, the silver. Yeah, pretty much the same. And, of course, the outfit it's all one color. You know, there's not a whole lot going on. Now on the belt, the silver on the Mando version is much more pronounced than it is on the Ahsoka version, especially on the buckle. I mean, the silver is just barely there on the buckle. The little studs here, I'll use her Leku to point with. These little studs completely missed on the new version. And again, it could just be mine, uh, but yeah, they're barely there. The silver is a lot brighter here than on the on this little hangy down piece. Okay, that's barely there. Yeah, there's a little bit difference in the belt. Okay, I do like this one better. Apart from that, it is the same figure. Same exact figure, but yeah, faces, yeah, they are a little different. And I like this one better. So yeah, face and belt are the two most noticeable differences between these two. I'm definitely skipping articulation because I've already reviewed this figure. The articulation is excellent on this figure. But let's take a look at sabers. We'll start with the long hilt first. So the new version is on the right. The Mando version is on the left. The black there on the hilt is a little darker on this one, but there's more of it on the Mando version. Okay, it spreads out a little wider. Now, I do have some stray black there, but that's obviously just mine. I'm sure that'll vary. Yeah, hilts are the same, blades are the same. Yeah, not much difference there. And on the Shoto, pretty much identical. Come on, focus. Yeah, the Shotos are about the same. Yeah, not much difference there. All right. So, yeah, really just face and belt. So let's go stick these two ladies on the shelf, and let's see what they look like there. And here we are. So there's the Ahsoka version. And as you see, I have the hilts on her belt and her arms crossed because that's how she was quite often in the show. So I don't know if I'm going to keep her like this, but I did just want to show that the little hooks on her belt work pretty well. And, uh, yeah, so that's that one. And then the Mando version, I just have up here with her sabers out. And there's the one that came in the three-pack. And you might could tell that the face tattoos are even less pronounced on that one. But the belt does look good. All right. And again, it could just be my copy. But yeah, that belt is very faint. But the face tattoos are a little more pronounced. And I think I like the eyes better on this one. I don't know. Comment below. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on this. You know, as you see, I skipped articulation because I've already talked about it with that figure. You know, feel free to check that video out. It's a tremendous figure. It's one of my faves, actually, and easily one of the best faces in the entire line. You know, just a wonderfully done face. But again, I just wanted to share, and 
you know, keep in mind as far as the differences in paint. It could just be my copies. Comment below and let me know what you guys think. And I think I'm just going to end the video here. So if you enjoy videos on Star Wars The Black Series, please consider dropping a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And don't forget to turn on notifications. I'd certainly appreciate it. And I just thank you guys so much for watching. See you all next time.